What's up guys, Chris here, back again with another video on the channel. In today's video, I want to talk about the market and how low it is right now. I'm going to be transparent about with you guys. I'm going to tell you how I lost some coins on some cards, my team especially. And I'm going to give you guys some no-risk investments that you guys could probably make some coins on for this upcoming week. And talk about the market as a whole and where I think it's going to go. And I'm also going to tell you guys how to make some coins in a market like this as well. So before we get into the video today, if you guys can, drop a like on the video. If we can get 50 on this, that'd be awesome. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. Go and in the description, there is going to be a free trading Discord that you guys can use for trading methods. Join that. You'll also know when I go live on Twitch and when I also upload to YouTube. If you didn't put the notifications on beforehand and also get involved with us on Twitch, I will be live probably right after I upload this video. So if you guys are coming from that video, go into the live stream. If you have any questions, you can ask me uh, in there. Okay, let's get into the video today. That's not too long. Um, market is low as shit. Um, and I'll tell you guys a few things, you know, that I'm taking losses on. Now, I'm starting to trade with icons. And the reason why I'm trading with icons is because it's a much more stable market, even though they are low at the moment from what I'm seeing. It's still a much more friendlier market than the gold market because whenever there's supply these guys don't get killed as much as guys like gold cards so right now the reason why for me i think a lot of people are losing coins is because this game this year is very very you know it's not natural flowing you know market trends really we're seeing a lot of trends that are unnatural patrons outside of groups telling people what to buy and i contribute to this right because i'm somebody that has a decent audience on twitch and i'm telling people you know you can buy this you can buy that and when everyone is buying the same things and they don't see it rise they're gonna panic sell because these people that are asking questions or these people that are in groups are inexperienced in the market you know obviously as a trader right i'm only selling these cards for losses because i believe i can make more with the coins but these guys are selling because they don't know where the market's going to go they don't know what they're doing that's why they're selling it we're just seeing panic upon panic upon panic um i also think a lot of people and the reason why i said yesterday on my stream that i thought the market was going to go a little bit lower today and it has you know in forms i thought you know what holland at 200k he's out of packs he's 183 right now say maximum's down 40,000 coins Teo Hernandez is down 15k. Uh, Renato's down even further. Same with Courtois. A lot of these guys are really, really getting destroyed. And at some point, guys, the market has to go up again. Now, for me, I think that could happen on Thursday this week. Now, I think it's going to be a little low going into that. I think we have got weekendly sell-off now. We're going to have it till tomorrow night, probably. I don't think squad battles is going to do much more to the market if not make it a little bit worse in this case normally we say that squad battle words makes the market actually rise but in the state of the market that it is right now i just think it's going to go a little bit lower because there isn't people buying right there's so many people that are scared to buy cards right now and i also think it also contributes to what ea put out where they're essentially telling people if they want to play division rivals and get the best ranks they need to play their 30 division rival games on Thursday and Friday, and then they got to play their weekly games on Saturday and Sunday. But essentially what's going on there is there's going to be very low demand for meta cards between Monday and Wednesday because nobody's going to be playing the game, right? If you're playing the game, it's already with a team that you have, or it's, you know, you're playing draft probably. So, you know, the market is probably just going to be low over the next couple of days. We also have UCL market matchups any other pack supply SBCs that could come as well and we also have uh on wednesday the new scream loading screen most likely uh because that is when obviously one to watch uh two goes out of packs people have been asking me whether or not one to watch one will be going back into packs i don't believe so i believe that was just for a pre-order so i think scream is going to be next friday and what we saw last year during scream is we actually saw peaks on certain cards now obviously the market is much lower going into this screen promo than it was last year last year was a much more friendlier trend upwards and now we're getting even more pack supply spcs than we had last year we have even more panic sellers this year we're having more market influence from people that are from outside groups which obviously doesn't help much but 
before we get into that, let's let's get into some of the parts of the market, how you guys can make coins. That's pretty much my reasoning as to why the market is down. You just have people that are scared to buy, people that already have teams, non-market uh, flows that are just natural pretty much. Uh, and I think it's just going to be low over the next couple of days. Whether it's going to go lower than where it is now, it could go a little bit lower. Um, but I believe if you want to buy a player for next week, uh, before the screen prompt, if you're going to buy like a, a De Bruyne, a Salah, a Mane, a Van Dyke, any of these kind of cards, you're going to see them probably go up on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday because those cards aren't really going to be replaced by anyone in the screen promo. The guys last year, I remember specifically, like for example, you know, if I show you guys uh, last year's FIFA, FIFA 20, and I give you a screen mode to Mendy. Now, here is what happens when special cards are more prevalent in the game. We got a screen mode to Mendy last year on October 18th, which was the first day of the screen promo. What ended up happening was he was a was a substitute for center backs in the Premier League, right? So for this year, if we were to have an Otamendi type player, maybe we see a guy like Joe Gomez drop because of that. Um, because people, it already seems like people have already bought teams and now they're going to start to sell off. Or when the Scream comes around, they're going to be replacing some of these gold players in their teams. Um, and that's what you saw last year with some center backs. Now, I don't recall a top tier center back in the Prem that was like really, really good last year besides Virgil, which didn't really drop at all. But a guy like Otamendi would make a guy like Joe Gomez probably drop a little bit due to one pack supply on Friday and two because of the uh, the substitute. You know, he's he's a new card. People want to use him. He's a special item. He's much more, you know, he, he's definitely somebody that people want to use more than a gold card because gold cards are kind of bland. Uh, and these guys actually have dynamic images. They have nice uh, cards and stuff like that. So these are new. People want to use these. Um, so just be careful with the screen promo. If you want to buy like any of these 83 and under, uh, gold cards, you probably could wait till Friday or at least on Wednesday, at least till Wednesday, because I feel like every single day, the market around 6 PM is now being trained to just pretty much panic sell. Uh, and at this point, we really don't know when this market's going to go at this lowest. So even if you do wait to buy certain cards, right? Say you want to buy like a sun for your team, right? Or yeah, you want to buy sun for your team. Right, if you just keep letting this drop, drop, and drop, and let's say he hits 200k, but say he goes up to 215 the next day and he's on the upward swing again, you still bought him at a time that was better than where he was a few days back. So you're still buying at an inflated price. Um, based on last year's market, I mean, guys like Varane, um, guys like Aubameyang, guys like Neymar, um, who else would probably Conte, Virgil, Messi, Pogba, Mane? These are the type of cards that probably will recover. The guys like you know 81 Davies or 81 Richarlison or Lucas or Diego Carlos or Adama Traore. These are the type of cards that, in my opinion, aren't going to recover to where they were last week. If that makes sense, um, I don't really see that happening. So. That's pretty much like kind of what's going to happen on the market. Just be very, very careful with some of the things that you guys are buying. The way that you can trade a market like this is to probably bid. Now, the reason why bidding is going to be so effective in a market like this is because when people are panic selling, nobody understands that, you know, people are not buying, right? There's no buy power in the market right now. So if people are looking at the snipes, they're not even looking at bids. If they're not looking at sniping, they're not even going to look at bids either. And you're going to be able to find some really, really nice bids uh, on certain cards. You could also sit on players as well um, and capitalize in a market of panic where, you know, you find a rash for, let's say, like 172. You could probably lazy sell it for 187, 188. Um, so you could do things like that. You could do low risk trading. You could do cam style trading. You know, for example, I've always talked about the Raj and Eiglin. Right, I love trading with this card. You know how you look and see, you know, he keeps going down every single day, but as I'm still able to trade with this card, either with, you know, a Shadow Chem style or with a CDM version, uh, I'm able to just trade with this card a lot. So, what you're going to want to do, you're just going to want to do a lot of like low risk flipping. You don't want to just, you know, do a lot of the more that you don't want to keep cards for more than 24 hours in a market like this. That's probably what I would say to you mostly. Um, the only cards that I would say are pretty safe to rebound 
would be probably um not one swatches but team of the weeks team of the weeks that are from past team of the weeks guys like erlen holland for example like how much lower can this guy really drop how much lower can a teo hernandez drop uh how much lower can a say maximum drop you know stuff like this is what you really need to ask yourself how much lower can stuff like this really drop you know team league one go same thing right umakano how much can he drop more um Obviously, Lozano's getting his second team of the week, so you probably don't want to touch that. Uh, Jamie Vardy, right? Or Luis Suarez, right? Some of these early team league cards, I think, are probably much safer than you guys going out and buying any gold cards because gold cards will always be... Um, s s they, they'll always be, like, you know, pack supply, right? You'll always have pack supply kind of waiting uh, with those gold cards, so you always have to kind of look over your shoulder whether or not pack supply is out or not, you kind of have to hold your breath going into 6 p.m. every single day, which you obviously don't want to do. Um, Team Week 3 is going into packs uh, this week, and they're already really looking good. Now, if these guys continue to drop, I think the buy time could be on Tuesday uh, with UCL marquee matchups, which is going to be my next point in this video, which you guys can invest in. Um, I really like Walker out of packs. You know, this guy for a high-tier investment, I understand these 400,000 coins, right? You could say to yourself, how am I going to afford a Kyle Walker? Well, Kyle Walker is the only center back right now that has 90 plus pace. He is incredible. From everyone that I've seen use this card, they have been raving about him. Um, he's got the great physical, great defending, and the incredible uh, pace on the card. I think Sergio Ramos could be looking at a buy if we if we get into the 220-230 range. Uh, Thomas Partey, right around the 100k. Uh, Firmino's already under 200, which is incredible. Uh, Erickson at 25, you know, Malikovic at 33, 34. Some of these prices are just getting a little too good for my liking. So you could choose one of two things to happen, right? You can either buy before Squabble Awards tonight because you believe the market for these cards in particular are going to go up. In, in previous years, you know, the market always goes up after Squab Battles. But in a market like this, I'm not too sure what's going to happen especially with the new division rivals requirements they don't you don't have to play the game monday to wednesday pretty much because if you've played weekly there's no point in you playing div rivals so i don't know how much demand these cards may have in terms of an investing point of view maybe patreon's going to be looking for these cards i'd say anytime between t you know today and probably tuesday you can look at buying these cards um i just think that's going to be really good uh for you guys the price that i saw or I showed you guys, that's probably what I would look at. Now, I would also take a look, if I were you, at some of these UCL marquee matchup cards. Now, these cards are usually really, really good um, in terms of, like, just little investments. You know, you don't have to, you know, go crazy on them, but you could stock the club with cards, right? So, like, if you want to look at some of the marquee matchups that we're going to get, whether it's going to be two games or four right we're gonna and that's gonna give pack supply by the way don't get me wrong that's gonna get pack supply as well so you could wait till tuesday if you really wanted to, to be safe on the team of the weeks so they're already at a good price now but if they go a little bit lower you could buy in um if you look at maybe like many other players right for example uh they're playing psg this week uh and you know you've got you know you've got dormant you've got Bayern, you've got you know lazio i think you've got uh, Chelsea as well. I mean, you've got a ton of teams that are playing this week that could be part of the marquee matchups uh, for the UCL. So you can look at gold rares uh, and you can just see, okay, like the cheapest gold rare is McTominay. McTominay and Matish. Like they're both 750 coins. So Snipe them at 700. What's the worst that can happen if these guys go to like 850, 900, right? You either take your profit or you wait for the SBC to come out and then they go up maybe because if they're required a lot they'll go to like 1.5 to 2 key minimum you can look at non-rares right from the same teams right so you look at uh for example maybe you look at you know igalo at like maybe 600 and under you're not gonna lose too much like brandy williams at 600 would probably be a solid card as well um you know we can look at you know Bayern cards right i mean these are like low risk investments these are cards that you cannot go really wrong on because they're already really low as it is. So, I mean, look at this. Like, you've got hits at 550. Uh, and if you go to gold rares, the cheapest one is what price for Dormund? Dormund's like 850 Munir. So, like, you guys can get, like, some really, really cheap investments. Uh, some of the teams that I have right here, like Man United PSG, uh, Dormund, uh, Bayern Munich, um, 
you know, Chelsea, PSG. These are the type of players that you guys want to be looking at for some non-risk investments or no-risk investments uh, for this Tuesday's marquee matchups. I believe people may start buying into those cards uh, after squad battles tonight. So get involved with that. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. It's a long video, so I do apologize. But hopefully this video helped you guys out. We'll have another upload later tonight as well. Talking about the market, where it's going after squad battles. And thank you guys for watching the video today. Appreciate it. Comment, subscribe if you're new right here. And I'll talk to you guys in the video soon. Peace out.